By now, you all know my obsession with time travel. Good Lord, Wells. You actually built the bloody thing. So where to? The past or the future? Well, oh, the future, of course. I'm scared to try it out. Pardon me. Oh, <laughs> I've known you for years. You write about life without actually living it, in your opinion. Imagine who you could be if you didn't live in fear. Mr. Wells, Scotland Yard is at the door. What is going on? The Ripper has struck. A woman was found in an alley near here. Where is Dr. Stevens? He left his bag. Surgeons use scalpels, not butcher's knives. I believe my friend John is Jack the Ripper. He has escaped to the future, and I am the only one who can catch him. Are you in some play in the village somewhere? I can assure you, I'm not an actor. Right. You're H.G. Wells. Yes. You wrote the time machine. No, not yet. I haven't. He hasn't broken character once. It's pretty amazing. The other one was hotter. What other guy? Your little friend who popped out of the time machine with the same period get him. He wasn't nearly as polite, by the way. It is urgent that I find that man. He's killed many women in London, and now he's in New York. Maybe you should call the police. And tell them what? That the Ripper has escaped 1893 in my time machine and traveled to New York City, they'll think I'm mad. Do you mean Jack the Ripper? Yes. You seem so sane in so many ways. Jane, please, I need your help. What if I can prove to you that I'm telling the truth? Grant me access to the time machine. I say we do a short trip. This exhibit doesn't open for three days. Are you really H.G. Wells? Flesh and blood. In our time, I was a freak. Today, I'm an amateur. Nothing but violence and bloodshed. Isn't it glorious? If I don't stop him, he will kill again. So I die three days from now. I will fix this. I will not put you in danger. I can take care of myself. I'm from Texas. I'll be needing the key. Give me the key. Let her go. Finally, you rise to the occasion. Are you really willing to kill me and violate everything that you stand for? You don't belong in this time or any time, and do it. Do it! Hello, Mr. Wells. Who are you? How do you know my name? Because you told me. I, I don't know you. I'm your great-great-granddaughter. <laughs>